iOS 18 brought a lot of new features to the iPhone and in this video, I want to go over all the new features you can see in messages on iOS 18. The first thing we have here is one of my favorite new features in messages and it has to be the send later option. So now whenever you type out a message, you're going to have the option to send a message later. So when you click on that plus icon, there's going to be an option to send later. And over here, you can customize when you want that message to be sent and at what time you want that message to be sent. And you can have full customization in this little window here and you can have that message sent for that specific date and time. It can be really useful for work if you have to get something across at a specific time point this is an easy way of sending that message later without you forgetting to send that message or even sending that message early on so you don't have to really wake up early in the morning to send that message as well which i found to be really useful so that's one of the biggest new changes and one of my favorite features in messages emoji tap back is getting an update in ios 18 so now whenever you hold on to the messages and you want to send an emoji back you can see the icons have been redesigned slightly so they don't look like emojis anymore they look more like a different type of effect but one of the biggest changes is that Apple's also introducing emoji tap backs so now you can actually customize whatever tap back that you want to send there's a little bubble here where you can customize what emoji and you can also slide over to choose recently used emojis and you also have that little bubble when you can just click on that then you can choose a custom emoji as a tap back which is really cool so if you're really using the tap back feature in iMessage this is something you might like the emojis in iMessages are also a lot bigger now so now when you send out a single double or triple emoji it's going to be a lot larger and it's going to be a lot more pronounced in the messages conversation so you can see right now if i send out the single emoji it's fairly big and if i were to send out a double emoji it's also a lot bigger than how it was before and you can also do a triple emoji which is also going to be bigger and once you hit four or more it's automatically going to go into the smaller icons that we're used to but now you do get the bigger emojis when you send out one two or three emojis together next apple is finally allowing rcs messaging on on iPhone which pretty much allows you to text iMessage type features to an Android user so if you're using tap back emojis and your other friend is using an Android they can also get those same type of reactions that an iOS user would get I personally haven't used this feature too much but there are a lot of people that have been wanting this feature and Apple finally added this in iOS 18 next Apple is introducing messages via satellite previously we were just limited to phone calls over satellite but now with iOS 18 you can send messages over satellite so if if you're ever in a location where it's very remote and you don't have any signal reception or anything like that in that area, you have the option to connect to a satellite and send messages over the satellite to another device in case of emergency or you just want to get a message across. You now have the option to send messages. Previously, we were just limited to phone calls, but now in iOS 18, you can still do the phone calls and you also have the option for messages as well. I believe this mainly works in the United States for now. This is just a demo that you can just go on your device and try out, but I'm not too sure if this really works here in Canada, but it should be available in the United States. Next, Apple is introducing text effects and text formatting in iMessages. So now when you send out a message, you have this little A icon on the right hand side. Once you click on that, you have the option to choose all of these type of animations. They have quite a bit over here. So if you want to add a little bit of effect or an animation to your messages, you can do that now. And Apple is also introducing text formatting, which you can see at the top here, you can have bold, italic, underline, or strike through. So if you want to have messages with different type of formatting, you now have the option to do that all with an iMessage. Next, Apple is implementing the calculator calculator feature into messages so now if you want to do a quick little equation directly within the text field you have the option to do so so if I want to quickly add something here and put the equal sign in it's automatically going to show me what that value should be this can be really useful if you're looking at cost so if someone owes you money or if you're trying to calculate the total cost or divide something equally amongst everyone in the group chat you can do all of this directly within the messages applications with the new calculator built into messages and finally in iOS 18 you finally have the option to lock your messages so if you ever wanted to have a password lock you can now require face id to unlock the application so if you don't want anyone getting into the messages application you can finally lock the app this is not only limited to the messages application it actually works for any app on your device but i just thought i'd throw that in there that you finally have the option to lock messages and that wraps it up for this video if you guys did like this video and you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace